Well, hello, everyone. We have an um, interesting question today. The question here is, may I use muscle testing along with the unseen therapist? Well, the answer is, yeah, of course you can. Of course you can. Uh, and I've got an email from someone asked me this question, but they were asking me the question in a in sort of a sense of, well, I prefer to do muscle testing instead of asking the unseen therapist. And I'm, I'm saying, well, if you want to do muscle testing, go ahead. It's got its limits. We'll discuss that. Um, but why not use both unseen therapist and muscle testing? But let's, for those of you unfamiliar, let's talk about what muscle testing is. It's a kinesthetic feeling kind of way of getting answers. For example, you have some, you or a client has some issue and you're wondering what specific event or what, you know, might be behind it, what emotionally might be there. And so with muscle testing, you would ask some yes or no type questions, and then you would test a muscle and see if that muscle stays strong. That would be a yes or goes weak. That would be a no. For example, does this have to do with my mother, for example, is some issue with with your mother. And sometimes, you know, you would press, press on somebody's arm, and, and if it does have something to do with that, uh, you know, it would really hold up strong. I'd say, yes, it has something to do with your mother. All right. Other, otherwise, if it was no, it would just go down. You know, just, yeah, the muscle would go grow weak under that circumstance. So you can ask all kinds of questions. There are all kinds of muscles to test. I've seen people, you know, do do something like this, you know, and, and see how hard that is to do. You know, easy to do, yes, you know, hard to do, no, that kind of thing. So people do that. And some people really like that, like that. They developed a skill for doing it. I tried it myself here. Well, a while back, years ago, actually. And while I developed some skill in that, I kept finding eventually that I knew the answer before I even tried the muscle test. <laughs> Intuitively, it was just showing up. Yeah, I, I know what I'm going to get, okay? Which also brings up a weakness to it because when sometimes when people know what they're going to get, they're overriding the whole thing, which you can do with a muscle test. Muscle tests aren't, aren't foolproof, all right? But some people use them. But now you have to ask more than one question. Does this have to do with my mother? Yes or no. Was it before age 10? Yes or no. Was it before age 5? Yes or no. And, and, and so you have to ask a number of questions to zero down. Was, it also, was the issue also with my uncle? Yes or no. You've got to ask all these questions okay, to get down to an eventual, ah, oh, let's Let's bring EFT or unseen therapist into that specific event, we will say. To me, that's cumbersome. Okay. Now, for those of you who are already students of uh, our optimal EFT course, which features the spiritual dimension, the unseen therapist, we have a lesson within our advanced course. Uh, and by the way, our advanced course is where you know, there's a, the essential links, which are below this video. It will give you a link to, you know, the features of our advanced course, as well as, you know, a newsletter that I put out, a free newsletter and, and, and a free ebook, which gives you, you know, uh, the intro to the unseen therapist and the intro how to do it and this kind of thing. But in our advanced course, as I was saying, um, we have a, advanced lesson number 10 it's called it's called the tv guidance channel technique now there's 30 of these advanced lessons all together to take you you know into very high-end uses of this material but this one in particular i want to mention because it's to me it's it's uh, superior to uh, muscle testing and that is it gives you a metaphor to use, you know, a TV set and some guidings to do. But essentially what you're doing is you're asking the unseen therapist, what's going on here? And instead of getting a yes or no or a series of yes or no answers, 
once you learn how to do it, and this is one of the spectacular things about really learning the unseen therapist, once you learn how to do it, she'll tell you. She'll give you a specific event. It'll be an image. Uh, it'll be you know a voice you hear. It'll be some kind of a nudge. It will be, a, and you have to kind of get used to communicating with her. But once you start getting that, She's just saved you all kinds of time trying to dig out what the real issue is. I mean, that's that's a, a literal godsend, okay? Um, and and it's it, it's superior in lots of ways. It, it, it takes you right to what the real issue is. Yes, okay. Um, and it avoids you having to do all these yes or no muscle testing questions before you finally get down to where you really should be going. So the answer to the question is, is, um, is it okay to use muscle testing with the unseen therapist? Sure. Use them both if you want to. Um, if you really like the kinesthetic way of doing it, you find you can use that, but why not learn the other technique as well? It's superior in lots of ways. If you just stay only with muscle testing, I mean, you're limiting yourself, at least in that fashion. So anyway, I hope that helps. I will uh, see you next time.